Alameda County. Care, not death. That's what dozens of protesters in Dublin are demanding at the Santa Rita Jail. As John Ramos reports, they are upset over how inmates with mental health issues are being treated. So many people have died while in custody at the Santa Rita Jail in Alameda County that it is now under federal oversight. And families dealing with mental illness say this is the last place their loved ones should be sent. Because a person is, is sick, that doesn't mean that they should receive a death sentence. And that's what's happening here. There's something going on wrong here. It's been three years, but Norma Nelson is still grieving the loss of her brother Donald. He suffered a diabetic seizure, got into a fight, and was murdered in a jail cell just two hours after arriving at Santa Rita. With this particular jail, there have been too many lives that have been lost here. Uh, people who are in need of medical, uh, mental health care, behavioral health care, uh, they're just not getting it here. In fact, more than 66 people have died while in the jail since 2014, four in just the first two months of this year. So on this day, a group of mental health and social justice activists staged a rally and march to demand that the county investigate the jail operation and spend $50 million they say they were promised to provide alternative mental illness intervention programs. We're saying provide more hospitals, have more in-treatment services, um, and that will in itself help the community to help those that are suffering to get well so that we don't need to have the police interaction or take them to Santa Rita. The protesters are also calling on newly elected Sheriff Yesenia Sanchez to end the practice of arresting and incarcerating people with mental health and substance abuse needs. But Sheriff's Department spokesperson Ty Modest says deputies arrest people for committing crimes, not for being mentally ill. If you just look at communities across the nation, there has been an extreme boom of mental health um, deterioration. We would love to see programming available that would really take that component out of our hands. Lieutenant Modest says there have been changes. Mental health orientation is being given to arrestees upon arrival rather than just on release, as was the policy. And a partnering mental health provider has a trailer set up out in the parking lot to help people leaving custody. Modest said it is part of the reforms that Sheriff Sanchez promised during the election. But the protesters are taking a wait and see attitude, especially since Sanchez was overseeing the jail operation before running for sheriff. And so she knows what's going on here. And, um, and in, if anything, she should be held more accountable uh, to make sure that she actually follows through on some of the campaign promises that she made. But both the protesters and law enforcement agree that no matter what happens at the jail, a lot more money is needed for mental illness treatment and facilities. And it will be up to the Board of Supervisors to find it. Some of the uh, in custody deaths are being attributed to the fentanyl epidemic. The Sheriff's Department says it has increased security to try to keep the drug out of the jail, but people are still finding ways to smuggle it in.